Hello everyone and welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy. Last time we gathered up most of the remaining stars. Now, in the second last episode, we're going to get some comet stars. The reason why I'm splitting this into two episodes is because I want to show off the final boss again, despite already fighting it. And we have a lot of reading to do. But this is Major Burrows. This boss is pitifully easy, even with the no-hit stipulation. To where the reason I'm starting off with this one is because it should take me the least amount of attempts. But um, Grr, I'm angry! Arr, I'm an angry mole! Eat shit. But yeah, no, the... We've seen this boss fight. I believe this is actually the only boss fight I have left to do in terms of one hit. I just walked into that thing. I couldn't see, I didn't see where I was going. Try again. That's just good. I have no idea why he's after this bunny. Like, I really don't. Okay, let's do this right this time. Oh no! Oh, and I broke one of those things. Awesome. Now... Now the hard one! Okay, the hard part is getting all those... Oh, come on. Eh, got him. And there we go. That is that daredevil down. I am embarrassed I, wa I died via walking into a spiky fruit. I don't think there's been a more humiliating Mario Galaxy death in the history of gaming. I, I'm actually very safe in saying that. There has not been a more embarrassing death in the history of Mario Galaxy. A death caused by a power outage would be less embarrassing. But that's this entire dome completed. Whee! So, now we gotta head up. And the fastest way up is with the red star. So let's fly! Come fly with me. Come fly. Let's fly away. I, I just couldn't resist. It was a musical reference, damn it. I love making references to songs I barely know. Because, well, where did I come from? Where did you go? Where did I go? Where did I come from, Cotton Eye Joe? But now we have a Cosmic Comet. We really haven't seen that many of these. I know these come back big time in Super Mario Galaxy 2. But that game has a bunch of different things for 100%. Like the, co like the infamous green stars. But this is a race. And this one, honestly, I think is the toughest one. There's a lot of platforming. Oh, there's the L. The butt wiggle. Need to give, I need to give Mario that uh, handicap. Not handicap. Okay, and I okay no no, return to the observatory. Cause that was pathetic. That was bad. That was very bad. No good. Bum 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 ba na 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 na. Dun 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 na 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 Bum 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 I'm not gonna Gotta get an early lead here And not do that Okay That one up is a trap Don't get it And 
You should be right on my ass. There we go! I got it. See, that's why I say sort of the, that's the hardest one, is because it's the most platforming intensive. The other ones are typically just straight races to the finish with very little actual platforming. But now, I believe all that's left, if we check the map, all that's left is Melty Molten and the Dreadnought. Which, I'm surprised the Dreadnought comment hasn't popped yet. But we can actually force that if it doesn't show up. So, this has been a pretty wild ride. Like, it, this is easily my favorite 3D Mario game. It helps that I'm okay at it. Uh, something I will fully admit right now is that I am bad at Mario games. I don't even think there's a shadow of a doubt at that, that I'm not that good at Mario games. But I've had a lot of fun with this. I may return in the future to Super Mario Galaxy 2. Um, I won't confirm anything, though, because I don't know how easy that game is to acquire. I think it's on the Wii U. Also, we have to do, instead of a boss... Instead of a, a small section, we have to do this entire area with a no-hit stipulation. Enemies will not drop coins. Hazards will kill us. You cannot rely on lava, bo uh, lava jumping to get by things. This is the hardest mission in the game bar nothing for me. There are a lot of hazards, a lot of those little rock dudes. And it's hard. Uh, I'm not going to say anything like, oh, I won't die. This is easy. Like, no, this is hard. If I don't die, uh, that's lucky. It's luck. It's not even worth going for the extra star bits in there. It's... This is a brutal mission. Okay. Wow, where's my cursor going? Gotta be slow and patient. Especially here. Because solar flares will be shooting out of these on occasion. And they will kill you! And if you time it wrong, your momentum will just kill you. It's very mean. I'm gonna wait. Pretty much, I'm treating this how I treat driving, which is if I hesitate, I don't go. Uh, if I can. Because there are things that will keep me from, uh, stop, uh, from going. Got an extra life at least. Like this section. But here's the thing. This section isn't is hard, but it's not the end of it. Cause we gotta get all these bits. We got a lot of steam vents, a lot of volcanic rock things. I, sp I swear I spun. Oh yeah, that's the beauty of this. We don't get checkpoints. I'm gonna cut to back there. Okay, and we're back. So thing I learned. You can shoot them. You can shoot the little rock dudes. This actually significantly lowers their threat level. Because now you don't have to get close to deal with them. It may only be temporary... But if nothing else, it will stop them for a good few seconds. That's part is you can just hold B 
and force it and like force them to get hit. Plus, since star bits are plentiful, they're pretty easy to get. And here we go. We are at the final stretch of this level. And in this case, this is the worst part of the level. Because everything is falling apart, you gotta be pretty fucking on point with your jumps, know exactly when to move, and avoid all the guys at the top. See, this is also why they didn't give this area a boss. Despite the fact that this would have made sense for a King Caliente return. But no, we have to instead give this incredibly hard Daredevil run with rocks. Okay, I have no idea why that despawned. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And, oh, I hate this. I hate this. I hate this thing so much. And my Wiimote is freaking out. I think the lava is slightly rubber bandy. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. Fuck off. I did it. Third try, because I died off screen. And yes, the lava, I think, does still keep rising. So grab that star as soon as you freaking can. Holy shit, I hate that star. That star is objectively the worst star in the game. I, I hate it. I really hate it. For some, I would easily say that is harder than the final boss. Especially if you're used to dealing with lava levels by, like, just not taking it. Oh, Speedy Comet! That's what this is. I thought it was a Daredevil one for some reason. Speedy! I think we've only seen, like, one or two of these. Uh, but basically get through the level as fast as you can. Gotta do this and the boss. And that's why I thought it was a... Uh, no hit run. Oh, right, and they also changed things up. So I think now there's a green guy somewhere else. There he is. Come here, buddy. And I don't know how that grabbed me from so far away, but I'm not complaining. I need to draw you. Damn it. Get that coin. Now, six minutes is quite honestly probably too much time. But this is uh, allowing for error, which I think is nice. Because then it makes sure that we can actually get through things. And thankfully, time does not go through text boxes. Okay, now there should Now yeah. So Got that. Probably not the intended way. And there we go. There we go. And no oh, whoosh. And now we gotta deal with this. Honestly, you can probably take your time with this. Time it out right. Or do that. 
Oh, there was a six hit mushroom. I forgot about that. Try again. It's the last star. We can save some time here. Alluring you. Come here, Beyblade. Three, two, one, let it rip. And bam. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Where's the other guy? Oh, come on. Spin, damn it. Oh, wow, that's way closer than I'm supposed to be. Transform eight seconds faster. And we're already almost back. Oh. And thankfully, these guys don't do on contact damage. And hey, we're already back. We are really catching up. And whee! Okay, this time I'll actually take it slow and time my moves rather than trying to move fast, which is what this level encourages me to do. Also, I'm going to grab this. So otherwise, I'll just get cannonball comboed to death. Did I say, take my time? Ha-ha! I meant, be as reckless and idiotic as possible. Nope, 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 nope. Wow, okay, that was stupid. Okay, you can't be reckless here. As much as I want to be. Oh, yeah, this part. Oh, there's a Koopa here. I wondered how you open those chests. Fuck off. Okay, well, it's a coin. I don't think these chests have anything good in them. Bink. Oh, come on, I long jumped. Whee! Wahoo! It's a me! I don't know, I'm tired. I have I had a long day of technical support. Don't. Don't work tech support, people. I work tech support, and it's not fun. Okay. And you're down. Two more will spawn. And there we go. We're down. The last star of the game. With that, we have all 120 stars. Rosalina seems to have something to tell us. Save your game? Yes. Yes, I will. We now have enough star power to go to another world. But before that, we must help your special one. Yep. 
No, I'm not. So next time, we'll be going through that and finally visiting the library. So, stay tuned, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you next time. So, let's let the good times roll.